We have seen in previous videos how to use bones for drivers, so it's only natural that we learn how to make custom shapes for these bones. So in this video, I'll show you quickly how you can make your own custom shapes for any bone you want. We are going to use the same bone we used for the light driver in my last video, so first let's add a plane for example, and I'm gonna hide everything else. Let's also put it in its own collection, and now we can start modeling our custom shape. So let's go in edit mode, press ctrl R to do some loop cuts. Then let's extrude these three edges on the x-axis, and with the three edges selected, press M and choose merge at center. Then go into face selection mode and delete these two faces. We can add a little more thickness by extruding it on the z-axis. And then let's dissolve these extra edges and we're done. Now let's delete the faces to get the wireframe look. Then I'll show you the other method to get the same result without deleting faces. After that, go into object mode and press Ctrl A and apply the scale and the rotation. Now select the bone, go to the bone properties tab, on the viewport display, click custom shape and select the arrow as custom shape. And now our bone is displayed as the custom shape. You notice that the orientation of the custom shape is different from our bone's orientation. You can fix that by selecting the arrow we just model and go into edit mode, select all and rotate it. Move it or scale it until you get the position and the size you want. You can also change these parameters directly with the bone in the custom shape menu. When you're done adjusting your custom shape, you can hide this one as you don't want to show it in renders. And now our bone is displayed as an arrow. Pretty cool, right? If you don't want to delete the faces of your custom shape, you can keep them and then in the custom shape menu, just enable wireframe and you get the same result. You can change your custom shape's color pretty easily by going in the amateur tab, then in bone groups, add a bone group and choose any color preset available or make your own. Basically these three colors are for when the bone is not selected, for when it's selected and when it's active. Then with your bone selected, click assign and that's it. After watching this small tutorial series, you should be able to make your own drivers and give them custom shapes. You can now control shape keys and lights and emission shaders with a cool looking controller. You can also use what we learned in this video for customizing your rig bones as it's the exact same technique. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful to you. You can download some of my 3D models for free on my Gumroad, the link is in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel and see you next time.